Kayla Yearout from the University of Idaho. This beautiful plant known as Brassica napis or canola is grown for its oilseed content. Canola is mainly used in the production of cooking oils and is the healthiest vegetable oil on the market. It's also used as a livestock feed and biofuel. Just like any other crop, canola is affected by pests and diseases every season, with one of the most devastating being black leg. Black leg is caused by a fungal pathogen known as Leptospheria maculans and is a major constraint to the production of canola worldwide. It has the ability to infect the plant during all growth stages, causing stem cankers, which leads to extreme crop damage and millions of dollars in yield loss every season. Although blackleg has been described since the 1700s, it was only just identified in Northern Idaho in 2009, making it a new disease to the region and an emerging problem to certified seed production for the Idaho oilseed industry. Other areas around the world have been able to identify the spread of leptospheria and how it interacts with its environment, otherwise known as the epidemiology of the disease. But because Black Lake is new to Northern Idaho, not much is known regarding how our environment contributes to the development and severity of it. Therefore, my research focuses on the biology of the pathogen and the epidemiology of this disease. One of the most effective forms of disease resistance in plants is through a mechanism known as qualitative resistance. This is a gene-for-gene -gene interaction in which a disease-inducing gene in the pathogen will trigger a resistance response from the plant. Leptospheria isolates collected from northern Idaho have been characterized to determine the frequency of these disease-inducing genes present in our region's pathogen population. And it's by knowing these frequencies, we can then determine which resistance genes in canola will provide optimal control against black leg specific to Northern Idaho. Along with genetic resistance, foliar fungicide applications are an effective means of control. However, it's important to know when these treatments will in fact be the most effective. The time of growing season when black leg inducing spores are produced does vary throughout the world due to environmental conditions. So it's through the use of these spore traps we are able to identify when spores are produced and when they cause initial infection, along with the weather conditions that are providing optimal disease onset. By knowing when spores are produced and when initial infection occurs, we can then determine the best time to apply fungicides. In the end, my research will contribute to developing grower guidelines for the best management practices against black leg and canola specific to Northern Idaho. Thank you. Thank you, Kayla. I can relate. I grew up on a farm and it seemed like every day was the battle against pests and in your field. So I, I totally get how important this work is. So I, I, did you go, I, do you have a farm background? Is that what got you interested in this or? Yes. Yes, I do. I've been, I raised, was raised on a farm. Uh, I was in FFA and 4-H, raised animals and very competitive in the agronomy and field crop contests through FFA. So. Okay, that's how you got to start. Um, so what did you major? My bachelor's was in crop science and horticulture. And then my master's is also in crop science. In crop science as well. And you're focusing on North Idaho. Is that what, how far south and north what are the boundaries of the crop that you're so really it's yeah it's mainly in the Palouse region um but some of the research so I have field trials in Moscow in Genesee and on the Camas Prairie so it's a little bit of a stretch um, but mainly the Palouse region excellent well I wish you lots of luck in your research and I'm happy to know that young people are interested in doing this kind of thing <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. you so much